Hey, this is Tyler Disney, BIM guy at Integral Group Oakland, and um, today I'm going to be showing how to build smart sheet notes. Um, my previous video demonstrated how to use them, and this one's going to be how to actually build that stuff. So here I've got a fresh new project just from the default Autodesk template, so nothing up my sleeve, and let's get started. So go to New Family annotation you want generic annotation delete whatever that is and um, start by creating a label place it at the very center um, and now uh, there's no options here because we haven't built any parameters into this family yet so let's do that now let's call it note number uh, set it to text type of parameter and set that to instance that's important. So give it a name, make sure the type of parameter is text, and make sure it's an instance parameter. Do the same thing for note text, and we'll create, we'll call it note sheet number. And that's also going to be text and instance. Uh, now for this label that we just created, so we just created all the parameters we need, but for this label that we just created, we just need the note number because that's all we want to show up. Change the sample value to be XX, and there it is. And I'm happy with uh, 330 seconds. Don't need that. Let's get it nice and situated there. And then, again, this is a sheet note bubble, so we will create a circle. Yep, and we're going to call it, save to desktop, we're going to call it something like MEP smart sheet note bubble. And load it into the project, and we're going to stick it right there. Oops. Okay, and then I can you know, type in whatever I want. So cool, I've got my sheet note bubble created. I'm done with that. But now that's only half of it, right? Because the other half of it is the schedule uh, that we need to create. And that can be slightly tricky. So I'm going to go to the sheet. And we're going to, let's see, this is plan one. We're going to throw this plan on the sheet. It's our sheet note. Um, OK, and so over here, we're going to put in some text that says sheet notes. Um, and then we want a schedule to show up right here, so we have to create that schedule. Go to the View tab, Schedules, Note Block. And then you've now got a list of uh, generic annotation families that you can pick. Call it, uh, or, yeah, so this is sheet uh, A101, so I'll just call this A101 Sheet Notes. Okay. And then I need all of these parameters that I created. And I want sheet number to be first. Oop, no, sorry. I want uh, sheet number to be last. I want note number to be first. And I want note text uh, to be last. So let's just hit OK and see what happens so you can see what the starting point is. We're not done with this. Um, we're going to drop this onto our sheet. OK. So. That's what's going on with that. Let's arrange this a little nicer. And don't need that anymore. And then let's just fill out some more information on this. Sheet note. Uh, sheet number we said this is A101. And note text. Uh, sample text. Is awesome. And also can't spell. Um, OK, so that's all filled out here. Now this obviously isn't what we want it to look like, right? So we need to make some modifications. The first modification is we want to uh, filter this. So I'm going to go ahead and make going to make a few of these, actually, just to demonstrate um, what we're doing when we fix this schedule. Um, and then I'm also going to create a new sheet. And I probably can't do that. Let's throw this guy here. Let's say D. 
these are A102. Okay. So in our schedule, we've got all sorts of things we don't want to have happening. We've got these A102 guys uh, listed. Um, we've got a row for each instance. None of this stuff is what we want. So one by one, we're going to fix this stuff. So first of all, in our schedule, we're going to go to filter. We're going to say filter by sh note sheet number equals A101. And that's going to remove everything that's not A101. So that's a very important step. Second thing, we don't want this column to show up. So back in here, there's multiple ways to do this, but go to the formatting tab, hit note sheet number, and call that a hidden field. Note that it's not going to work if you take that parameter out of this schedule because then that breaks the filter. So we need that column for the filter, but we don't want it to show up. Okay, we're getting closer. Um, second thing, or next thing, is go to sorting and grouping and uh, uncheck itemize every instance and then you'll notice that's not exactly what we want either because we have to tell it to sort by note number. So that's good. So now we've just got one row per note number which is what we want uh, but we'd like a blank line in between each one of these guys. So go back to sorting grouping check blank line and that adds that little guy which is nice. Okay, uh, another thing, we don't want this header stuff. We don't need to see that. Um, so go back to the sheets, go to formatting, sorry, go to appearance and say uncheck show title and show headers. There we go, getting a lot closer. Can tell we're pretty close. Um, another thing in formatting is for these guys, uh, for the note number, I want those to be in the center and uh, what else do I want? Oh, uh, I don't want these, these grid lines. I just want the text, so I'm going to uncheck grid lines. And now I've got my awesome uh, note schedule. And that's all there is to it. Let me know if you have any questions about that. Cheers.